Hello everyone. I am excited to welcome you to the seventh video in the Bold BI Deployment with Containers series. In this video, I will take you through the step-by-step -step process of deploying Bold BI multi-container Docker image in Azure Kubernetes service. Before that, to understand what Azure Kubernetes service is, Azure Kubernetes service is a managed container orchestration service by Microsoft Azure. It simplifies the deployment and management of containerized applications, leveraging Kubernetes, while providing scalability, security, and integration with other Azure services. Next, look at the prerequisites for deploying Bold BI in Azure Kubernetes service. Kubectl installation, file storage creation, cluster creation, and load balancer are the prerequisites for the deployment. Prerequisites can be set up by following the help documentation links provided in this video's description. I've already set up the prerequisites, so I'll use it. Now, let me proceed with the deployment steps. First, let's see the steps to clone Bold BI repository. To start with, I clone the Bold BI Kubernetes GitHub repository onto the machine. You can find its link in the description below. Next, navigate to the repository using the provided link, copy the URL, and clone it in the desired location. Change the terminal to the current repository by cd folder name. Next, let me show you the storage account name and key encoding steps. I encode the values to base64 using the command in the GitHub link in the description. Copy the command and paste it in the terminal. Next, I go to the Azure portal page and select storage accounts. Navigate to the required storage account associated with the cluster. Select the access keys under security plus networking and copy the storage account name. Next, I replace the storage account name in the encoding command and run it. This is how you will get the base64 encoded storage account name. Similarly, get the base64 encoded storage account key and note down the base64 encoded name and key. Next, let me move on to setting up file sharing. FileShare is a persistent storage for applications running in AKS. Go to FileShare and select Create New FileShare. A new FileShare window will open. Provide a name and click on Create plus Review, and after validation passed, click on Create. You will receive a message, Successfully Created Storage FileShare. Initially, a 5TB storage quota will be allocated for the FileShare, that capacity is more than sufficient for the application's usage. To ensure cost optimization, select Edit Quota and enter 5 GB to decrease the storage capacity. Here, I have already created a file share for the Bold BI application, so I am going to use it. Now, note the file share name. I go to the terminal and navigate to the deploy folder. Open the pvclaim underscore aks.yaml file in edit mode using the notepad pvclaim underscore aks.yaml command. Next, I replace the base64 encoded storage account name and base64 encoded storage account key that were previously noted down. Then, replace the file share name with the current file share name and save the file using the shortcut keys, Ctrl S. Next, moving on to the cluster connection and controller deployment steps. To connect with the Azure cluster, you must install Azure command line interface on your machine. Follow the documentation provided in the description to install the Azure CLI. Now, I open the cluster and click on Connect. Copy the cluster subscription command and run the command in the terminal. Similarly, I copy the cluster credentials downloading command and run the command in the terminal. You will receive a message, merged cluster name, as the current context in local directory. Now, the connection to the cluster has been established. Next, to deploy the latest Nginx ingress controller to the cluster, which acts as a load balancer, I run the following command from the description. After deploying the Nginx ingress controller, I ensure the controller deployment by running the command kubectl git pods and ingress nginx. The status should be running. This controller is used to access the internal cluster services from external sources. Next, I will show you the steps to create a namespace and secrets for the application. To create the namespace for deploying Bold BI, I run the command kubectl apply f namespace.yaml and receive the message namespace slash name is created. 
Then, to create secrets for the application, I run the following commands. This command is used to apply the definitions in secrets.yaml file. This command is used to apply the definitions in license key secret.yaml file. This command deploys the Kubernetes definitions in DB server secret.yaml file. This command deploys the Kubernetes definitions in root user details.yaml file. Next, I'll show you the steps to configure logs and controller service. To update the application configuration to the AKS cluster, run the command kubectl apply f log for net underscore config.yaml. To provide specific branding images based on the requirement, run the command kubectl apply f branding underscore config.yaml. Next, I expose the internal services to external traffic by applying an ingress controller to the application. This can be done by running the command kubectl apply f ingress.yaml. Then, get the ingress IP address by running the command kubectl get ingress and bolt services. The IP address should be displayed. To use it further, note the IP address for hosting the application. Next, moving on to the final deployment steps. Open the deployment.yaml file in edit mode using the command notepad deployment.yaml. Replace the app base URL with the ingress IP address noted before and press Ctrl S to save the file. Next, I run the following commands one by one to start the application deployment. This command deploys the Kubernetes definitions in pdclaim underscore aks.yaml file. This command deploys the Kubernetes definitions in deployment.yaml file. This command is used to apply the definitions in hpa.yaml file. This command is used to apply the definitions in service.yaml file. Now, wait for a few minutes to get the bold BI on-premise application deployed to the AKS cluster. Check the pod status by running the command kubectl get pods and bold services. Status for all the pods should be running, and if some pods are not, wait for some time and check the pod status again. Once all the pods are running, use the ingress IP address in the browser and see the application deployed successfully. I hope you found this guide helpful in understanding how to deploy bold BI multi-container Docker image in Azure Kubernetes service. In the next video, I will show you the steps for deploying bold BI multi-container Docker image in Amazon ECS Fargate. Thank you for watching.